Listen to the Coffee Hour. I'm Andy Bates. I'm Sarah Golseth. It is Tuesday, March 26th, and we are celebrating Lutheran schools this week. Yes. Uh, well, today, particularly. Just today. Just today. <laughs> no, we celebrate Lutheran schools every day. We uh, love Lutheran schools. We do. We do. I'm very grateful for... Uh, the, the Lutheran school, St. Mark's, that uh, where my son attends and learns every day about Jesus and uh, God's love for him in Jesus. And we get to share the story of a, another Lutheran school and the family that got connected with Lutheran school and uh, why it's important to them and how you can support Lutheran Elementary School Association right here in St. Louis coming up in uh, what? Just a Little, it's less than a month less, away. Well, it's Ooh, not like, even less. It's like what? Like a three week? weeks? Two weeks? A week? What yeah. day? Oh, it's yeah, yeah. Been two weeks. Man, than two I don't. Weeks. I obviously have no idea what day it is. <laughs> We've forgotten so what don't month listen it is. To me. <laughs> Today is March. It's in April, but it's only like yeah, less than two weeks away. So April we're excited 6th. to celebrate that. And um, another uh, really neat tour coming up that we've shared before here yeah. is the Gospel of Mark tour. So we're going to find out more about that in the second half of the program. Thanks to Concordia University Wisconsin for supporting the Coffee Hour. Find out more about Concordia University Wisconsin at cuw.edu. Live uncommon cuw.edu joining us in studio this morning the Bertarelli family maureen and rudy Bertarelli, parents of students at christ community lutheran school right up the street here in kirkwood good morning Bertarellis. thanks so much for being our guest good morning thanks for having us thanks for having us always a joy to to have uh parents of of lutheran school students and learn more about how lutheran schools have made a difference for you what was what was key in prompting you to consider a lutheran school for your family um, you know, we had uh, the Webster Gardens Church that uh, hosts CCLS, it's an association church, um, does a big rake in the Crestwood area. And I was like, wow, this is a cool thing. Like, that's, you know, like servant heart. In the fall, they get out and rake <laughs> Yeah, they leaves. rake people's lawns. Like, um, you know, so they came by and they're like, do you need help raking? And I was like, no, but would you help the lady next door? And so they did. And I just thought that was impressive. And, you know, they left that, like, they had a school. And, you know, my heart just went, wow, the culture nowadays is it's ho- almost hostile to Christians. And it, I just thought, wouldn't it be great if our daughter Maggie could go to CCLS where they care so much that they're out raking people's yards um, and telling about Christ. And that, and that sealed the deal. We went and visited and our hearts fell in love with the place. And it's been a uh, great couple of years that she's been there. And who who did you meet when you first visited? What did you, wh- who did you see? What did you, when you first visited CCLS? You know, the Butterfields gave us the tour and um, they're just um, huge. They've got a huge family and they, you know, right up front, we're like, we have this great organization, LASA, that will come in and we provide financial aid for families who can't make it. And they showed us the school and introduced us to the teachers. And it was impressive, really. Rudy, what is your uh, uh, relationship with Lutheran schools? Tell us about your experience in Lutheran schools. Well, I've went, I've gone to Lutheran schools my ent- entire life since kindergarten. Um, actually, my grandfather used to be the athletic director at Lutheran South, <laughs> Jack Fasholtz. So they actually have an award <laughs> named after him. Um, and my my great aunt. Edith Cavaflash, she was a teacher at Salem Lutheran for decades. And, yeah, this um, is the Lutheran community <laughs> that I did not know about yeah. when we got married. Oh, yes. Yeah, and so I've gone, I went to Hope Lutheran in the city. It's closed down now, sadly, but it was over, over there at the corner of Eichelberger and Brannon. Mm-hmm. And I went there from K through eight, even with the preschool, like their very first preschool class they mm-hmm. had established. And then I went to Lutheran South for, uh, until I graduated. Nice. How did that, uh, or did that influence your decision at all to send, send your, your child to Lutheran school? Oh, yeah, it, it really did. Um, I thought that was, I, I saw my upbringing and, and I saw just how close, closely the spiritual education, and it it raised me up a lot. It instills virtues in you. Yeah, you know, that you can And can't. and 
we, you, it's hard to explain to someone who hasn't gone to any uh, private schooling. That'd and, be me. Yeah. <laughs> All public education. And and figuring out how those virtues are intertwined with the the math and the science and everything. It's you you get another layer of education with that, and it's it's really something that it shouldn't be taken for granted. Maureen, tell me about that, about being introduced to a Lutheran school where there's a Christ-centered education for your child every day um, compared to what you understood school to be prior to that. Right. Um, I don't I don't know how to start. Like, when I send my daughter, you know, she learns Christian values from us, and then I send her, my daughter and my son to school, and I don't have to necessarily, like, when they come home, be like, okay, what did you learn today? And let me see if that fits in with what we believe. And if it doesn't, let's talk about it. And there's not this like long list of, <laughs> mm -hmm. you know, conversations that we have because when I, they get in trouble at school, you know, for fighting, they have to forgive one another. They have to apologize. They talk about what Christ would want them to do and how he'd want them to act. Um, and that's just, I mean, that's nothing like what I got, you know? So really you have partners in in raising your children in yes. this christian faith you have yes. partners with uh, the christ community lutheran school in in doing that and raising mm -hmm. them in this faith that's so very important to you this this christian faith that, that community part is 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 huge mm -hmm. and it 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 does take a village to raise children and, <laughs> uh, <laughs> and uh, that, how, it's a big help how do your children describe their school to others when they're talking about their school uh, my son when he, he was a couple of years ago so he's a little younger but he said well we hear jesus stories but that's the only difference <laughs> but, um, they but, don't know the difference you know they go to school and there's prayer circles and um you know everything is taught from a biblical worldview and they see teachers at church and they don't they don't know the difference between having like a church that's separate from um, your education. That's a community you're talking about. And if I could tell a quick story, we mm -hmm. uh, we did we were doing foster care for a while, and we had a couple of children living with us. And you know, I was getting ready for bed, and I said, "All right, it's time for prayer." And a little boy who's my son's age, about five at the time, and he said, uh, "What's prayer?" And that just, and that really, I've been thinking about this, and that really just sums it up. It's, you can't take this for granted. It's, it, it's a church-based education, and you you need that, and a lot of people don't get that. Yeah, that's fantastic. Uh, Sue, how does uh, Lisa make Lutheran schools accessible for families in the St. Louis area? Well, our big um, fame with uh, the accessibility is our Building Block Scholarship Program, which is our tuition assistance program. It's need-based. Uh, we help families uh, afford and access those Lutheran schools that are so vitally important, as Maureen and Rudy have just described, mm -hmm. um, you know, to our children. Our children are our future, and we want our schools to be accessible to children from all walks of life. We, you know, don't want to see them just um, as mission projects. Uh, we also don't want them just for the affluent. We want everyone to be able to access a Lutheran education who wants to. So we work very, very hard. We've been very blessed with wonderful donors, with wonderful event guests who have given gifts from their hearts, who understand the value of Lutheran schools and are committed to this ministry and mission and help families um, afford school. So um, we're just happy to be the vessel through which those gifts um, flow. And, and and speaking of, because I, you know what, we didn't officially introduce you yet today. Sue Nelmanson <laughs> is Sue <laughs> is CEO for Lutheran Elementary School Association, um, L E S A S T L dot org. Lisa is what we call it here in St. Louis. Yes, Lisa S T L dot org is the uh, Lutheran Elementary School Association, and fantastic event right around the corner coming up Saturday, April sixth. Cooking for Kids. It's the fifteenth annual tribute dinner auction. Uh, tell us about this. We have uh, just uh, about two minutes. Okay. Well, it is our largest annual fundraiser. We do this every spring, and um, we are featuring this year two Lutheran School alum. Ben Groupie and Alex Cup, both of whom are acclaimed chefs. Mm -hmm. uh, so we are pairing Ben Groupie's French cuisine training with Alex's smoked meat 
um, experience, so we should have a very interesting meal to share with our guest. Um, we raise at this event about half of the funds that we give away every year in tuition assistance, so it is a very important event for us. Uh, we have a wonderful silent auction with beautiful beautiful items, wonderful baskets. We have a live auction that features um, some amazing um, experiential and um, some um, valuable items mm -hmm. as well, if you like those tangible things to take home and um, enjoy. Um, we will have a drive for our tuition assistance program. So we're excited about that, giving people an opportunity who um, might not want to take something home, um, mm -hmm. a chance to support our, our kids and our families. And what they're really doing is supporting our future. Um, as Maureen and Rudy have said, you know, Lutheran schools are making a difference in the lives of their children. Their children are, are learning that, that faith and Christianity is, is part of their life. And um, it's not only part of their life here, it's part of their life for eternity. And, you know, they're sharing, as Rudy talked about, sharing prayer with uh, their foster child. Oh my goodness, what an amazing mm -hmm. impact that is. And, and, and that's because of our Lutheran schools. Yeah, and we wouldn't be able to send them to Lutheran schools without LASA. Um, we need the tuition assistance um, and it just makes it possible for us. Yeah, having the, how many students are, are supported through scholarships through LISA? This year we have about five, not quite 550 wow. um, over our 15 year history and we're still relatively new in the mm -hmm. Lutheran community, uh, but we have awarded over $5 million in tuition aid to over 3,300 individual students. So that's keeping this, this valuable Christ-centered education for students in the St. Louis area accessible, very accessible um, through these scholarships. It's, it's outstanding that we can do that. And, and so now we have um, two great witnesses, the, the Bertarelli kids who are learning about Jesus daily and then telling others too and coming home and, and, and sharing mm -hmm. that with mom and dad. And even when they have uh, foster children in their home too, getting to share that love of Christ with them as well. What a, a beautiful story and uh, so excited to get to be a part of it. Cooking for Kids coming up Saturday, April 6th. Um, and you can find out more at lesastl.org. That's the Lisa website, lesa stl.org uh, so you can uh, get tickets you, there for the yes event. definitely we still have seats available so um, lisa stl.org or give us a call at the office at 314-200-0790 sue nominson thank you so much for being our guest today and the bertarelli family thank you so much for sharing your story thank you thanks thanks coming, so much andy coming up in just a little bit we learned about the gospel of mark tour what is it is it a concert is it a, i don't know play we'll see we can get to we got experts get <laughs> that's right front row seats oh hey <laughs> <laughs> you listen to the coffee all right i'm andy bates i'm sarah golseth